Stretch forth your hand to the poor. This is the theme for this year's World Day of the Poor, 15 November 2020. In this letter, Pope Francis takes the words from the sage Sirach of the Old Testament for reflection. In page after page, we discover a precious compendium of advice on how to act in the light of a close relationship with God, yet time devoted to prayer can never become an alibi for neglecting our neighbor in need. The decision to care for the poor cannot be conditioned by the time available or by private interest or by impersonal pastoral or social projects. The power of God's grace cannot be restrained by the selfish tendency to put ourselves always first. Keeping our gaze fixed on the poor is difficult, but more necessary than ever if we are to give proper direction to our personal life and the life of society. It is not a matter of fine words, but of concrete commitment inspired by divine charity. The poor always will be with us to help us welcome Christ's presence into our daily lives. In these months, when the whole world was prey to a virus that brought pain and death, despair and bewilderment, we could continue to speak of so many outstretched hands, all of which make up a great litany of good works. Those hands defied contagion and fear in order to offer support and consolation. This year's theme, Stretch Forth Your Hand to the Poor, encourages us to bear the burdens of the weakest in accord with the words of Saint Paul, through love, serve one another. Here again, the book of Sirach can help us. It asks us to sympathize with those who are sorrowing. Do not fail those who weep. And do not shrink from visiting the sick. We have been unable to be close to those who suffer. The words of God allows for no complacency. It constantly impels us to acts of love. The final words of this chapter of the book of Sirach, in everything you do, remember your end, can be understood in two ways. First, remembering our common destiny can help lead to a life of concern for those poorer than ourselves or lacking the opportunities that were ours. Secondly, there is also a goal towards which each of us is tending. The end of all our actions can only be love. This is the ultimate goal of our journey and nothing should distract us from it. May our prayer to Mary, Mother of the Poor, unite these, her beloved children, with all those who serve them in Christ's name. And may that prayer enable outstretched hands to become an embrace of shared and discovered fraternity.